I'm gonna finish cleaning this car today. I know in the last video, I left you with a cliffhanger saying that I wasn't gonna show you the rest of it because it takes time. Now it's a rainy Saturday. Um, I woke up really late, but what I am gonna do is polish this car because I've got myself my own polisher today and that's gonna help me out. Now, there's a lot of these pads that come with the box. This is just a cheap one off eBay. I didn't want to get anything crazy in case, you know, I hated it and never touched it ever again. But it turns out that Matt came over the other day and, well, showed me the ropes and it was actually quite easy to do. So I got the cheapest one eBay and then he turned up. I would have probably bought a better one because I didn't realise how, how much I'd enjoy it. So, yeah, just a cheap one either. I think it was like 45 quid. You get a couple of different mop heads. This one, this one, like sizes anyway. The bonnet came out so good. And now I have a fear that the rest of it's not gonna come out as good. Um, I'm not gonna paint any of this down here. Uh, I did paint it and it came out like a wrong color in the, dip, in the sun. So I just, best to take all the paint off anyway. And if he was watching the last video, I think I teased it, but there's something happening to this car. So at the end, I'll tell you what's happening. But for now, I best get cracking because this is going to take ages, I can tell. <laughs> Look at this show car I've built. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, my polisher, I'm not sold on it. It's not as good as Matt's. Obviously, I can't get around the door handle. Do I want to take the door handle out? No. Is it clean enough for me? Yes. Um, yeah, doors come out really nice. I did most of uh, this side of the roof, but I don't know if I buffed it off enough. I don't know. The roof's not coming out as good. When Matt was doing it, it did the same thing, but it's not much different to what I've done. Um, maybe there's a bit of compound on there. I did the uh, windscreen cowling. Uh, and Matt thought that this bonnet was a different colour to this. Um, now I've polished this, it's very clear that it is a different colour to this. Which wasn't too noticeable until I polished it, but yeah. Um, what can you do? It was probably painted like a week after it came out of the factory. And then the rest of it is, you know, as it was, but... It sort of blended quite nicely, patina-wise. Uh, obviously, the doors come out lovely. That's also a different colour to this. You know what I mean? It's weird. Um, I'm going to basically start on the top half and get it looking nice for a picture at this side and then start moving underneath the trim uh, and then just putting it up from there. But, yeah, it's, uh, I've got quite a long day ahead of me by the sounds of it. I'm not completely sold, and this also doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be shiny for my liking. Not too shiny, like this is fine, this is absolutely fine. Um, I like the way it looks. It'd be nice if it all went like this, but it's not gonna, I don't think. Yeah, God, it looks good. Anyway, I will continue on. Right, so you can see I'm doing half the bonnet here, uh, or deck glue, whatever you wanna call it. That's what it used to look like. And that's what it is look like. So these middle bits are not really coming out as nice as the rest of it. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or not doing it. I don't know. That's the first time I've ever polished a car. And these bits are just not. I obviously, I can't get right up to this because I don't want to take these off. It would be easy if I could take those off. But I don't want to break any of the clips and stuff like that because they will break. It's 100% guaranteed that they're going to snap. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's better, but it's not coming out as well. And I've done these two twice. Um, I don't know. Just a little update. It's shiny, man. Who would have thought this car is as shiny as that? It's ridiculous. You can sort of get a half and half here. <laughs> There's also this like painted area on the boot. 
which I'm not quite sure why, but it's there. Um, yeah, I don't know. That'll probably polish up like really well, this bit here. I guarantee it, and the rest of it'll be shit. Yeah, as you can see, this bit is like new, but the rest is like proper scratchy. Um, and that's simply because I've not spent enough time on it. Um, this middle one here, you can clearly see it's a lot clearer in between that gap. And I spent ages on that middle bit. Now, <laughs> that's really annoying, but I think outside in the real light, because look at these lights, these are bright. I don't think you'll notice it so much. There was such harsh lighting. But when you're like directly underneath it, it's swirly as hell, but I don't want to be a detailer. I just want to make it look more presentable than it is. So for me, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. It's a lot better than this. So and now I'm going to do the rest of the roof and just carry on. Carry on as such. It's just a shame that the bonnet came out so good, but it's clearly been resprayed. Anyway, must continue. What an amateur. Anyway, there's a bit of a shine on the roof now. Roop. Fell off that stand. Yeah, that's all right. That's not bad. It coming out so good, man. It's a new car. I've now officially done the top of everything. There's polish everywhere, so obviously I still need to go over it, but it's like a new car. I love it. Obviously, I need to clean the windows and all the polish off everything, but I'm going to go down the sides underneath the trim now. Um, give it a quick spruce and send it on its way. <laughs> I've got quite the speed on this. This is like the lowest speed it is. It's quite fast, but it's cutting through all the dirt and grime on this pretty quickly, so it's all right. Glossy. It's amazing how this paint has actually shined so well. It looks better in person. You can't really picture it in the video too well. Some angles you can, some angles you can't. But yeah, it looks good. I like it. Obviously, the green under here is annoying. Can't do much about that. 
Um, I'm waiting for some polishing wheels just to get that rust off that bumper because it will polish up fairly decent if you try. Um, uh, and the polishing wheels, I'll just go over the top of uh, like here, just put dirt on there, top of the door and doors and stuff like that. But the rest of the chrome looks fairly decent. It's really oxidized everywhere, really. But um, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just pleased. I'm just pleased. I'm just pleased that it has a nice sheen to it now. Not a shine, a sheen. We'll go with sheen. Sounds like a better uh, wording for this car. Why is it blurry? There you go. I'm just pleased we've got a better sheen to this car now. And then it looks awesome. Really, really good, really pleased. So yeah, I hope everyone understands why I've been actually polishing this car. It, uh, you know, it looks really good for it. It looks really, really cool. And I just love the fact that this is genuine UK patina. This is what happens in the UK. Unlike America, where the paint fades, we seem to get this. I see it in a lot of English cars, like older ones. They just do this, and I love it. I think it looks really cool. But, as I mentioned in this video, something happened into this car, and it's going back to where it came from. Now, that's not to say it's going back to that council garage area that I bought it from. It's not doing that. It's going further than that. It's going up to Scotland. Yeah, that's where these were made. And this is where it's going. For as much as I can work out, this car has lived its life in the Cambridgeshire area, which is where I'm from. And obviously they were built in Scotland, way up north. I don't know whereabouts. If you know, you know. And uh, yeah, uh, someone messaged me on Instagram the other day. And they were really enthusiastic. They really wanted the car. The car is something they've wanted for many, 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 many years. And uh, I have the perfect one for them because they want a project. They want to make it their own. They also want to keep the patina even better for me. Um, I've got the satisfaction of making it look how I think it should look. Uh, and their plan for the car is to put some shiny wheels on it and bag it. So... So for me, I was like, great, that's yours. But the other thing is that they didn't want to buy it. They wanted to swap it. So we managed to come up with a deal on swapping the cars. Um, they have something that's a lot more me. They have something that is a lot easier to get in and put on the road. And they have something a lot more, I don't know what to say. Reliable, that's definitely 100% true. It's gonna be much more reliable than this, it's faster. I'll give you a hint, it's a two door, um, two liter manual coupe from the 90s. And it's uh, hopefully coming back down to me and I can put my little twist on it. There's a few bits done to it that I would have already had done. There's a couple of things on there that need to be done. This other car in question has been sat since 2016, I think. Um, yeah. As much as this car is cool, the car that I'm 99.9% .9 sure the deal is done is a lot more me. It's a lot more me and I can enjoy it a lot more. Even though this is cool, I do already have an imp if you didn't know. I have an imp van, so I don't need to. But the other car, yeah. Get excited, because I'm excited. I've always wanted one. I've never had the opportunity to until now. So yeah, on that note, that's probably the final video on the whole car. Actually, you'll see one snippet of it in the video of the new car when we do the old trade, so. If you watch for the imp, that's probably the last video you'll see on it. So anyway, I'll leave it on that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.